Chris from DMC Sidecars. Today we will be installing sidecar mounting hardware on a 2015 Indian Chieftain. The tools you'll be needing today are a crescent wrench, socket wrench, a 1916 13 millimeter socket, also a 13 millimeter wrench, a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, 6 millimeter Allen wrench, 8 millimeter Allen wrench, and a 10 millimeter Allen wrench. Also, a drill with a one and one quarter inch hole saw for drilling the side cover hole for our spacer to fit. Sidecar mounting hardware supplied in the kit comes with a lower mount for the rear, mount for the front lower, upper mount for the front, upper mount for the rear, and supplied hardware. First thing we're going to do to install our sidecar mounting hardware is we need to remove the saddle bags as we have already done to get a little more working room to work on the bike. Next we're going to remove the side panels and the seat to uh, start our assembly process. Removing the side panels is easy, then you just pull off panels. Using a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, we're going to remove the rear seat bolt. Once the rear seat bolt is removed, we need to remove the seat bolts on the side of the bike. They are located underneath the edge of the seat with a 6 millimeter Allen wrench. Once you have all the bolts removed, the seat simply slides back and releases. Once your seat is removed, we will re need to remove some bolts to remove this lower panel. In order to get the panel off, we have to remove these rear foot peg mounts. To remove the rear foot peg mount first, we are using an 8 millimeter Allen wrench. Once the rear foot peg is off, we'll be using a 6 millimeter Allen wrench to remove the panel. Once your panel is removed, we will need to locate the bolt in the lower part of the frame here where your mounting hardware will go into. This bolt is removed with a 17 millimeter socket. Once the bolt is removed, we will need to make a hole in our panel, which we have already done for our mounting hardware to slip into the stock hole. To drill our hole, we use a one and a quarter inch hole saw and drill from the outside through to make room for our spacer for our mounting hardware. Once your hole is made for your rear lower mount spacer, you may reinstall the panel Continuing on the right side of the bike, we'll be installing the upper rear mount first. You must remove these two plastic caps off the bike for the upper rear mount to be installed using your 6 millimeter Allen wrench. Once your caps are removed, we will use our upper left mounting tab in the stock hole position with six millimeter Allen head bolts. Once you have installed the rear upper mounting tab, loosely tighten the bolts by hand so you have a little play, and then install the lower connecting clamp. Once that is hand tight, you can now slide in the eye into the upper. Now that it is all together, we'll go around and tighten up all the bolts with your 6 millimeter Allen wrench. Using your Crescent wrench, you can cover up the eye and tighten it up. Once your upper rear mount is attached, it's time to move back to the lower rear mount. First, we'll remove the stock bolt. 
once the stock bolt is out, our lower mount fits right into the stock location. 10 millimeter bolt, we're gonna slide that right into the frame. Now that we're back on the left side of the bike, we can finish installing the lower mount using our supplied spacer, bolt, and using our hole that we have drilled. So insert the spacer into the bike, lift the lower mount into position, and insert our supplied bolt. Using a 19 millimeter socket, we're gonna tighten it up. Once it's hand tight, we're gonna go check the other side and snug everything up. Now that we're done installing the rear, lower, and upper mounts, we're gonna move to the front of the bike to install the upper and lower mounts in the front. To install our front upper clamp, first we must remove a bolt holding a hydraulic line on our upper frame rail. This bolt can be removed using a five millimeter Allen. Once the bolt is removed, you will now have enough clearance to mount your upper clamp. To install your upper clamp, first you will need to remove the bolts to spread the clamp around the upper frame rail. This clamp can be spread either by hand or by using a tool. Once the clamp is spread, it goes around the frame rail and then turns on the inside of the frame. Tighten up the clamp by hand before installing the hardware. Install your clamp plate inside the clamp on the frame rail and hand tighten it to secure it to the bike. Once it's tight on the bike, you can now tighten the side clamp bolts using a 13 millimeter socket and wrench. Once your clamp bolts are tight, then raise the clamp to the highest position possible on the frame rail and tighten the eye bolt against the frame rail using a crescent wrench. Once your upper frame clamp is installed, you'll need to reinstall the bolt for the upper hydraulic line. Your last mount that needs to be installed is your front lower mount. This will be mounted behind your floorboards, so first we must remove them. Using our supplied hardware, connect the mounting tab between the frame and the floorboard using an 8 millimeter Allen wrench. Once bolts are in all the way, securely fasten them. Now that we're done installing our front and rear sidecar mounts, we're ready to install the sidecar frame.